Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? All you my friends, hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box if you have the energy and time. Uh, all the nice links down there. Also drop a like and subscribe if you like the content. So there you go, bros and grills. Here we are. Uh, I, I messed up in the last video uh, at the end. I was like, how the hell do you do this? But basically, this is how I render. Because I remember in the tile map... Uh, if you don't give an entity here, all right, then it's not going to render anything. Uh, it will go into this else statement. And we had this commented out in the last video. So in this video, I uncommented it. I set this for loop right here. Let's look at this. So I set this Z. It's a it's a dereference from before. Now I just referenced it like that or uh, the address operator like that instead of the dereferencing because it's not a pointer. And it looks just like this. And then I added one more for loop internally where I dereference the K and I go through all the elements in the Z. And then I say K render, K get collision, target, draw collision box, and at the K get position. Okay. Uh, so that's basically how that's going to work. And that helps me render the whole thing. Okay. And uh, if I run this, I'm in release. I should be in debug. I'm sorry. Uh, cancel that. Okay, I should be in debug, but it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go into editor. So I added a few more things in here. And these are these don't look good. These aren't meant to look good. They're just here to uh, test stuff. All right, so let me load it. Now it renders whatever I loaded, okay? And I can remove the flowers I had. Let me add a few flowers here. And what this does is it adds tiles on top of tiles. Now I could add uh, more tiles here, 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 and here. See that? So that makes it look a little better. Now I could add even tiles on top of this. So I can add a water block on top of here. So you got to be kind of careful seeing as you can add too many things to, to the scene, to one tile, and it will be, you know, too large. So let me just add a few flowers here, uh, make it look nice. These aren't the most beautiful flowers I can make, but I just made something. All right, so that's basically what I wanted to do. Um, and then the grass there. So let's just save that and then quit new game. Then we'll see the flower here, the flowers right there. And we'll see this grass thingy going through here. See that? So basically that's how that works. Um, now I did add one extra tile here. It seems like, so there's some, uh, something not good here. So I got to make a way to see how many tiles are on one position in the editor so, so maybe maybe uh, if i hover over it i'll see a number of the size of it and i'll know how many tiles are there so we don't make any mistakes but this is basically what i wanted with the layer system so in this zero layer or in the first layer bottom ground floor we have several stacks of tiles all right most of these just have one but this one has two 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 and here as well two 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 um, tiles on top of each other Okay, and this is all one, 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 one. See that? So basically, that's what I wanted to do, and it worked. Uh, now, now, I know I'm sending an entity here, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change it up. I'm going to remove the entity thing right here, okay? And I'm going to say, I want to render SF vector 2i, and I'm going to give it a const. Uh, grid position okay um, there you go grid position uh, vector 2i and I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it into tile map right here so we're gonna remove the whole entity thing and we're gonna basically say that I'm not gonna ever do this basically I'm just gonna remove that I know I'm sorry guys I just worked on it just to remove it I know I'm dumb but never mind we'll remove all of that make it oopsie daisy god damn what the hell is going on okay shift tab there you go all right so now we have whatever we just perfectly you know everything's fine here um, 
grid, grid, instead of doing the grid position, now we do have a grid position here already, grid position.x. And we're just going to change it up and remove everything, all the entity related stuff. And just say grid position x and maybe copy this, say grid position dot y. And then that this means that we can send in the player's position or we can send in the uh, view position. We can send in whatever we want and it will use that to render. See, so it's a little, little more effective in that sense. Um, so let's start off in the editor state. Now it's going to complain. So when we're rendering, I want to send in a grid position. I want to say this view get or this, uh, let's say mouse position grid. Let's just send the mouse position grid in here. Uh, and then we got to change that as well. Ah, I'm sorry. It's going to state. All right. It's going to state H and we're going to have our mouse position here somewhere here. And I'm just going to change that to I. Okay. Mouse position grid I. So there you go. Uh, good, good. And it's in pub, pub protected. So that's good. Uh, down here, it's going to complain. So mouse position grid, let's just say I, vector to I, and change both of these static cast to int. Okay. Static cast to int, int, all of this. Okay. State float grid size all that grid size okay we're fine grid size grid size everything seems to be unsigned or integer now not unsigned and then we'll go back here now it's not going to complain anymore so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna use that mm. okay i'm just gonna use that and we're gonna use it as a copy basically uh let's see tile map the best thing would be if we could do a reference, const reference right in here, that would be the best thing for the grid position. But that bugs out sometimes if you give it something that isn't permanent or whatever you want to call it. But it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll just use that uh, entity hitbox component. Pretty sure there is a get grid position. And then we give it the grid size. Okay, anyway, the editor should work. Let's go into game state. And now it's going to complain down here. This player get grid position. This grid size. And that's a float. This state data. Grid size. And it's a float as well. Um static cast int this grid size all right okay let's just see where we initialize that init view init key binds fonts textures pause menu tile map okay so that's the grid size we want to use uh, oh, that's the one it's using. Okay, I'm going to use a state data one. This state data grid size. And then we get the grid position of the player. And then render using that. Okay, let's try this out now. So it's a little more complicated, but it frees the render function up to just uh, to not be bound to have in. So let's load this. All right, so you see it's, it's, we're using the mouse position now to render everything around. And in the new game, it's going to use the player's grid position. See that? And hopefully it won't crash when we go to the sides here. Everything seems to be okay. Everything seems to be fine. And uh, uh, let's load that. Let's see if we can remove tiles still. Uh, yeah, we did remove something. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Um, nice, 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 nice. Okay. All right, all right. Very good. All right, so that, that much is fine. Let's see. Okay, so we're pretty much at the end of the video. Another thing I want to do, like I said, is in the editor, 
editor state. So I'm just going to close all other documents, open up editor state. And I hope you can hear me. Yes, you can. Um, in the text, cursor text, I'm going to update cursor text, update, 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 update. Right here. Type. And we need one more thing here. And that's basically going to be a new line like that. And then we're just going to say um, tiles. All right, just something. We're going to see how many tiles there are in that position. So we could do this. This tile map. Uh, and then we're just going to be get tile. All right, we're going to do a get tile. Mm. Get amount. No, get. Uh, hmm. Stack size? Ah, uh, I'm not. I'm not sure how we're gonna do that. Get. God damn it. Um. Layer. Size maybe, and then we might do mouse plus grid x x, and then the layer. So let's just do mouse position grid. Mouse position, and then layer and then you know what we're gonna do we're gonna add in the h file we're just gonna add a camera speed type texture rectangle this tile map uh in layer all right we're just gonna set the layer to zero for now uh, this layer equals zero okay so because we can we can kind of change that up later so just just add that and we'll go down and we'll say this layer and then at that position x y and at that position we're going to get the size back so basically that's what we want to do all right tiles um all right so go ahead go into your tile map. This is the last thing we're going to do before we end. All right, might be a little longer video, but it's worth it. Uh, and then we're going to do accessors const int get layer size const. And no, wait, before we do that, const int x, const int y, const int z layer and now we're going to define it and then we're going to say if x is greater than zero and x and then x is less than this map dot size then we're going to keep going okay if y is greater than equal to zero and and y is less than this map at position x dot size, all right, then we're gonna keep going. And let's just copy this, paste it in here and say layer is greater than equal to zero and layer is equal to x and y dot size. All right, and then we know that we are in the middle and we're just going to return um, this map x, y layer size. All right. Otherwise, we're just going to return minus one as an error. OK, so this is going to make sure that we can get the correct size of that shit. So let's run it. Let's see, most probably we'll have some errors here. 
Okay, tiles zero, load, tiles one. You'll see the tiles. I was actually pointing on my screen to show you guys, but it does show us where there are tiles and where there are none. See, tiles two. Here is tiles minus one. There is no tiles there. There are no tiles. Tiles one, one, minus one. So it, it will help us when we're making our map, right? It will help us to see where we have tiles. So if you're unsure, you can just hover over and you'll see how many tiles there there. Okay? So that's how that's going to work. There you go, guys and girls. Long video. Uh, but I know some of you guys like long videos. So there you go. <laughs> but uh, thank you all for the support. Thanks for watching. Hope you're doing great. Keep working hard. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right? Bye-bye.